They found Danny's body cut into ten pieces. Nobody told me this. I learned it in an email that was attached by accident to another email sent to me. I decided that before Adam is born, I have to confront everything that happened to Danny. He was held in an isolated shack in a compound on the outskirts of Karachi. One day, when he was unshackled to go to the toilet, he tried to escape. They caught him and chained him to the engine of a car. Another time, he tried to break loose when he was walking with his captors. Once, he shouted to a passerby. Then, one day, probably February 1st, three men who spoke Arabic were brought to the compound. Danny argued with one of them. Then they turned on the video. My name is Daniel Pearl. My father is Jewish. My mother is Jewish. I'm Jewish. Maybe they made him say this, but I know he was undefeated because of the next thing that he says. Something the kidnappers could not have known. In the town of B'nai Barak in Israel, there's a street called um, Chaim Pearl Street, which is named after my great-grandfather, who was one of the founders of the town. I force myself to imagine all of it. And when it is over, I know there is nothing that can happen that I won't have the courage to face. 